Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another new Drago video on to the channel today. Oh, praise be the first Spinjitzu Master. Ah, we have to bow down to this guy for creating the thing we all know and love, the world of Ninjago. Ah, he did so much in his life, even though we don't know how long his life is. He pretty much ha basically got away from the first realm, created Ninjago, and just raised two sons on his own. I think he was on his own. Um... But, there's a big question in that has been kind of rampant upon my mind. And that is, how in the world did he die? How in the world did the first Spinjitzu Master, the creator of all Ninjago, just die? How did he do? How did he pass away? Because we all know his final resting place was with the Round Crystal in the bottom of the ocean, where his tomb was. Um... So, it would appear to seem that he just randomly drowned, but i that's what I first thought, is that he just drowned and he was just holding the Realm Crystal as he, he drowned. But that would be pretty stupid, to be honest, because he's a god, and gods don't just die by drowning. I mean, I mean there may have been tales of gods um, dying, like, in the most human way possible, but I don't think that's the case. I think, um, I think I discussed this with a few of my friends, and one person said he knew his time was up, so he just died. It's kind of like dying of old age, basically, where you know your time's up, and they just fade away. It's kind of like, um, Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, where he just Faded away into the force. Um, so yeah, that definitely makes much more logical sense considering of, of what type of character he is. A god. Um, gods definitely know when their, their time is up and know when they are about to, you know, just not exist anymore. So it would make, make a lot more sense for him to just pass away suddenly. But the thing that, that confuses me is that in that shot, his corpse is there. And so it make, makes me think, did he die with the Realm Crystal in his, in his hands? And where did he obtain the Realm Crystal from? Where did he get it from? I honestly have no idea. Um, but what do you guys think? How do you think the first Spinjitzu Master, the creator of all Ninjago, passed away? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. And click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.